Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. And today we're going to take a look at Race Team Fillmore. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So when Lightning McQueen took on the took on a new paint job from Ramon, Fillmore, along with Mater, Sarge, Luigi and Guido you know, took on a Team 95 emblem on each of their doors. And they traveled around and they traveled to Tokyo, Japan, for the first race of the World Grand Prix against a new racing rival, Francesco Bernoulli, who actually turns, turns out not to be a bad guy in the end. And they, travel, and they cruised through the streets and watched a group of female fan dancers and sumo wrestling and came to the welcoming party in... And for the in, in the Tokyo Museum, and when Mater met up with, uh, and the and Fillmore was even part of Lightning's pit crew for the whole competition, and after the after the first race in Tokyo when. When Mater decided to leave the team, they read his his farewell letters in the hotel, and they traveled to Porto Corsa, Italy, to stay the night at, with Luigi's favorite uncle, Uncle Topolino, and and during the home welcoming dance. Sarge tried out some ingredients, which are the same ingredients as back home, and Fillmore replied it's organic, and then Sarge calls him tree hugger. <laughs> Although, what do you guys think? Was it actually funny or what? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So anyway, Fillmore, Fillmore and the rest of the pig crew can see that lightning was down in the dumps, and Fillmore was wondering if it's about his fuel. He told Lightning not to worry because it was safe. And and he was also a member, part of Lightning McQueen's pit crew for the third and final race of the World Grand Prix in London, which which he and the other townsfolk of Radiator Springs and Lightning McQueen. Queen and Mater helped Mater, who had a bomb on his engine, along with Finn McMissile and Holly Shiftwell, defeat Professor Z and the Lemons. And they were even. Fillmore was even present when Mater revealed the cold print of the all conspiracy involving all in all who turns out to be none other than Sir Miles Axelrod and inside Buckingham Palace when the Queen who I don't have knighted Mater for his bravery and and Fillmore also wore the 95 emblem during the Cars 2 video game and that is it. So now, let's get right into the review here. Here we've got his happy facial expression, his eyes facing up at the sky, and his headlights, and the Volkswagen logo, which is copyrighted, his side view mirror, and his license, front license plate saying 51237. And on the left side, we've got the 
love and a road and the a hippie emblem and the groovy and a team 95 and on the back we've got many route 66 graphics and the back license plate saying 51237 and his exhaust pipe and and on the right side we've got the rest of a road and the team 90 another team 95 on another one of his doors and and the word peace and that is it oh and i also forgot to mention in underneath we've got the on the undercarriage it says Volkswagen AG which is copyrighted and now it's it so now let's compare them to the regular Fillmore original expression race team facial expression both have the Volkswagen logo the headlights and the front license plate saying 51237 the side view mirror on the left many hippie graphics and the rainbow and the Groovy, hippie emblem, love, Team 95 on door, no Team 95 on door, many Route 66 signatures, and the back license plate saying 51237, the exhaust pipe, another piece of road, and Team 95 on door, a globe on door both have the word peace and that is it and now let's pull up some of the other team 95 members we've got Lightning McQueen with racing wheels or should I say cars 2 Lightning McQueen race team Mater race team Sarge race team Guido and race team Luigi and that is it so what do you guys think which version of Fillmore is your favorite and which team 95 member is your favorite also leave your thoughts in the comments down below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more also don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past and from the car collection video in the description should I review next and consider support the support by viewing and subscribing. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!